Welcome back. A new report by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization says food security in North Africa is fast deteriorating because of conflict in several countries in the region. According to the reports, which focused on changes to food security and nutrition across the region since 2000, malnourishment in countries not directly affected by conflict, such as most Gulf Arab states and most North African countries, including Egypt, had slowly improved in the last decade, but it had worsened in conflict-hit countries. Several countries in the region erupted into conflict following uprisings in 2011 that overthrew leaders in Tunisia, Egypt and Libya. Now let's bring things back home here in Nigeria where the parts of the country continue to grapple with the challenge of petrol scarcity, a situation the claim is made worse by hoarding of the product by marketers. The Department of Petroleum Resources says it will continue to clamp down on airing petrol stations. It's been days since members of the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengelson, suspended their planned strike, yet queues are still at fuel stations in some states across the country. First in Lagos, the oil police visited some stations in the metropolis, shutting down Oando on the Lekki axis for holding and molestation of staff of the DPR. We are here to actually do monitor sales and then uh, we write the company to come and explain why they did what they did. If they are able to exonerate themselves, we will reopen the station again. If not, if we are convinced that they, can, they are not fit to operate in accordance with our regulations or our laws and regulations, we can even uh, revoke the license. While some stations in Kaduna are not dispensing, this one is selling the product but above the approved pump price of 145 naira per litre. It's not only looking at the top and say this government is not, because we are supposed to even love ourselves. You know, if you are making things difficult for your own brother, then it's a pity. It's a situation the Department of Petroleum Resources, DPR, will not tolerate. They have been going around to sell fuel stations not complying to the agency's regulation. Those that uh, were caught will be suspended. The motorists are also advised to call our numbers and also inform us those field stations that uh, indulge in these sharp practices. Uh, the problem is that uh, the sales will sell the normal price. But I didn't get it the normal price from the depot. So I just bought it from black market from depot to 170. In Kano State, the product is available, but the long queues persists, this time as a result of panic buying. The DPR officials are moving from one station to another across the states to ensure things are in order. So far, we have been able to inspect uh, 166 stations within three days. Out of these 166 stations, there are some that had, uh, uh, had committed uh, various offenses and uh, we have uh, penalized our eight stations so far. It's few days to Christmas, and many anticipate that this situation will finally be resolved by government in order to reduce the hardship experienced by other people. In the meantime, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation says over 400 trucks of petrol have been released to Lagos and Abuja to stem long queues at filling stations. Speaking to Channel Television in Abuja, the spokesman of the corporation, Mr. Undu Ugamandu, said the corporation has 21 days sufficiency of petrol, which translates into 750 million litres of the product. The group by director of NNPC, Dr. Mekanti Baru, has already marshaled and directed uh, the corporation to ensure that uh, different measures are put in place to ensure that uh, we have uh, uh, sweet flow of uh, products during this festive period. First of all, to ensure that all our filling stations, they, they dispense well to commuters 24 hours, and equally directed that uh, most parts of the states, particularly Abuja and uh, Lagos, that uh, truck out and trucks moving into these uh, areas are uh, increased. For example, we have directed that uh, trucks of petroleum products, that's PMS, into Abuja, we increased from 70 to 170 
trucks daily. And Lagos, as we speak, Lagos is receiving about 300 trucks daily to ensure that uh, all the buckets of queues are cleared. And as Christmas approaches, many families in Nigeria are struggling to celebrate the holidays with a country just emerging from a recession this year and majority of civil servants facing continued salary delays. Traders in the capital city say business is slow and that they're expecting subdued festive shopping this year. Just a few days to Christmas, few shoppers seem to be out looking for bargains this year at the popular Wuse market in Niger's capital city, Abuja. Traders say despite promotions to draw the customers, sales remain low, probably because shoppers are cautious about spending due to hard economic times. As the year draws to a close, recovery from the country's first recession in 25 years remains slow and fragile. Despite annual inflation slowing for the 10th month to 15.9% this week, and a separate food price index showing inflation at 20.30% in November compared to 20.31% in October, it has not had any impact on the prices of food items in the market. We have beautiful things around us, but costly. Things are costly. Maybe we came in now to buy some teacups that we used to buy 150. Each now is 450 naira. Everywhere is almost empty and scanty. There are no much people who are patronizing sellers. There are not even much people also in the market to buy because there is no money. The economy is so bad, terribly bad this year. And about 300 kilometers away in Banner State, residents of Makadi came out to watch the Mami Water Parade, a masquerade in honor of a water deity that's usually held during the season and also marks celebration with ancestors during the festivities. The masquerade borrows from the Ajiba dance performed by the chief community in Nigeria's Middle Belt region. The masquerades, dressed as Mami Water, exhibit a show of strength as they portray different roles in their dance. The traditional performance, which takes place annually, draws visitors from various regions. When I'm watching the dance, I feel so excited, I feel happy. In fact, the Mommy Water dance is the spirit. It has, it's like it has the spirit of Christmas in it. When we do this dance, it, 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 it kind of brightens up our spirit during this festive period. You could see the people around are happy because we are doing this. Many hope things will look up in 2018. Last month, the central bank governor, Godwin Emefele, said he expected inflation rates to fall at a faster pace and reach high single-digit rates by the middle of next year. And on that note, we end today's program. Thank you for watching. I am BC Adebayo.